Welcome to a very health conscious letters and numbers where all our puzzles are guaranteed organic and original, like a tofu burger for the brain. And introducing our key wholesome ingredients, firstly, Lily Zinner. Hey Richard. Do you try and eat healthily, Lily? Oh, in general, I try to keep um, a little bit healthy, you know, healthy body, healthy mind. But um, the other day I was at a juice, juice bar, bar mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I saw that they were offering um, wheatgrass shots. I've heard all these healthy things about it. I've never had it before, and I didn't even know what it was. But they actually put grass in the machine, and then they, <laughs> funnily enough... And, I, I, um, I wish I'd seen the look on your face yeah. at that moment. I'm, yeah. I'm going to eat grass. Yeah, <laughs> and so I shot it and then decided from then on, I think I'll, I'll stay mod moderately healthy, but I won't go over the top. <laughs> actually, what about you, David? I mean, have, you know, would you be taking the wheatgrass shot? Uh, I might pass at that, but uh, I am a firm believer in the uh, CSIRO diet. Oh, um, and what is that? Sounds very scientific. Yeah, no, it's actually chips, snacks, ice cream, <laughs> rum and ouzo. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you find that it just works well for your metabolism. Look, it's great. Uh, it gets the mind firing and the anagrams start uh, coming from everywhere. And that's what we want from you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the very healthy David Astall. Thank you. And hungry after all of that for success, our contestants. First up, our carryover champion back for her fifth night, legal secretary Karen White. Good to see you again, Karen. Thanks, Richard. Now, actually, just before the show, you were mentioning to me that you actually had had a pretty sleepless night last night in yes. anticipation of, of, uh, of tonight. I decided I'd, I'd read to um, try and relax and get back to sleep. But as soon as I sort of opened the book, all these nine-letter words kept appearing. <laughs> all these prefixes and suffixes. It's, it didn't help me relax at all. <laughs> well, hopefully the energy will be there still tonight because you played a great game last night. Welcome back, Karen. Thanks, Richard. And tonight's challenger is a personal trainer and receptionist, Rochelle Patrick. Hello, Rochelle. Hello, Richard. Now, a few years back you were involved with... Duathlons, org organising and participating in duathlons? Yes, that's correct. We don't tend to hear that much about duathlons. We hear often about the other disciplines. Yes. Um, so like a triathlon, there are three legs to the race, except without a swim, it's a run. So it was a 10-kilometre run, a 40-kilometre cycle and a 5-kilometre run to finish it off. Well, that's certainly challenging. We won't make you work quite that physically hard tonight, but it'll be competitive anyway. Thank Welcome. You. So all the best tonight to our contestants, Karen White and Richelle Patrick. <laughs> X marks the spot with our first letters game tonight. And uh, Karen, you're getting very familiar with this now. I'll start with a consonant, please, Lily. Thanks, Karen. K. And another one, please. L. And another. D. And one more, please. R. And I'll swap to a vowel. O. And a second. E. And a third. I. Um, I'll go back to the consonants, please. H. And I'll finish with a consonant, please. And last letter, M. First clock. <laughs> First letters of the night, Karen. I've got a six, Richard. And you, Rochelle? I have a seven. Hang on to that. The six first. Holder. Thank you, Rochelle. Homelier. Homelier. How do you spell that? H O M L I E R. What do you reckon, David? I think there's an E uh, in there as well. Unfortunately, uh, Rochelle, H O M E, but I will check to see if it's a variation. And homely is here, E L Y, and no variation, I'm afraid. Uh, and in fact, homelier 
would have been listed, but does need to have that central E. Uh, Airdom, H-E-I-R-D-O-M, which is the state of being an heir or one about to inherit a fortune, was the seven that I found. Very nice. Thank you, David. But uh, good start for Karen. Six points. Bad luck, Rochelle. Next letters and your first choice, Rochelle. May I have a consonant, please? You certainly may. Let's start with C. And another? G. And a third, please. N. And I'll have a vowel. U. And another vowel. I. Oh, let's go for a third. A. Great. I'll switch back to consonants, please. B. And another vowel. E. And I'll finish with a consonant, please. And last letter. S. Time to think. First letter choice, Rochelle. I'll go for a seven. Karen? I'll try a seven as well, Richard. Let's have yours first. Sourcing. Sourcing. Uh, now, could you spell that? S-A-U-C-I-N-G. And uh, what about you, Rochelle? Abusing. They both sound good sevens, David. Yes, well, I, I can say uh, abusing without needing to double check uh, is perfectly fine, but sourcing as a verb, that's what worries me a little. Source is here and it is, of course, to, uh, to dress or prepare with sauce or to season, so sourcing is good as well. Uh, causing may have uh, been causing you less heart flutters is an anagram of sourcing and was my seven. Nice stuff. Well done to Karen and Rochelle, seven each that time. And that takes us to our first numbers game tonight. Our contestants have to multiply, add, divide or subtract the selected numbers to try to get to the target. And Karen, now you've been very consistent with your family mix. Still heading there? Absolutely. Family mix, please, Lily. Thanks, Karen. Two large and four small. And starting with the smalls, four, one, five, two, and the two large, 50 and 75. The target to reach is 226. Let's head there. First numbers, how did you go? On target, Richard. On target, very nice indeed. What about you, uh, Rochelle? 221. 221. So obviously a little further away, but Karen, take us through your method, please. Okay, so with 5 minus 2 equals 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. Times by 75, so 225. 5 minus 75 is 225. And add the 1. Add the 1 is 226. Well done. Very nice. Straight to the target. Very nice, straightforward approach. Lily, any comments? I had something less straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> Take us on that scenic route. All righty. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 by 75 minus 50, which is 25, is 225. And then you add the 1, 226. Oh, uh, that wasn't all that scenic. Very nice method, though. Well done, Lily. But uh, great stuff from Karen. 10 points. So, Rochelle on 7. Karen now on 23 as we head for our first break tonight. Your first word mix is raft rang. And this time the clue, angry outburst that is sweet smelling. Back after the break. 